Hey there, Swiss Council Wagga. I am back again with another Stella Rosa wine. This time it's Stella Rosa Black. If you've been following me, you know, I've done quite a few of the Stella Rosa wines and discovered that I haven't did a review of all the Stella Rosa wines. And unfortunately, that wine list is like this. <laughs> okay, so there's quite a few of the Stella Rosa wines. I need to go through and do those, you know, uh, because my sweet wine drinkers. You know, really enjoy when I do sweet wines. You know, I may get quite a bit of reviews on my sweet wines. You know, quite a bit actually likes, you know, and comments on my sweet wines. I and I never forget about those. Even when I have my wine shop, I never forgot about my sweet wine drinkers. Okay, and when I have my wine shop, there's very few, you know, as far as diversity in different type of grapes or different wines with different areas that were made in a semi-sweet or sweet style outside of dessert style okay but i would search those out just for my sweet wine drinkers and i'm gonna do the same thing here on the wisconsin wine, wine reviews okay all right that being said these are wines where you can find where you shop for wines in fact Santa rosa is a national brand you can probably find that almost anywhere liquor store grocery store and you may find this in wine shops because it wasn't around when I had my wine shop, but it was. I would carry some of the Stella Rosa wines in my wine shop because, you know, I had customers who would look for sweeter style wines. And I like the quality. So far, I like the quality of a lot of their wines. Okay? Now, that being said, you can find this price anywhere from $9.99 to $14.99 a bottle, depending on where you're shopping for wine. Alcohol percentage is 5% alcohol, semi sweet. You know, which be, they try to go through with larger wines. This is going to be a red style. You know, Stella Rosa Black, they call it. But it's going to be a red wine. Okay, let me pour it in a glass so you can see it. This, did you hear that? I think I wasn't talking that time. Corkscrew, you know, I use the Hades Cork or the Corkscrew, you know, but it maintains the integrity of the wine. At least for a week, it's going to do that, right? So I may be enjoying this for a minute. So it's a red wine. Now, this is going to be a blend of blueberry, raspberry, blackberry, and the grape, the Italian grape, is going to be brachetto. All the wines in the Stella Rosa are, uh, the grapes are sourced and the fruit are sourced and produced in Italy. And they import them back because they have their winery, San Antonio Winery in Alameda, California. You know, they import them back and they distribute it across the nation. All right, but the wines originate from Italy. Okay, so in the white you have Moscato, in the reds you have a grape called Brachetto. Okay, you may never heard of that grape. You may have heard of Brachetto de Aqui. Okay, which is like a red or rosé style sparkling wine. You no, know, which is phenomenal if you ever had one. Find it. Find that Brachetto de Aqui. So the grape here is going to be Brachetto. And again, blended with the fruits, you know, because they try to accommodate so many different palates. Everybody don't like dry wines. Everybody don't like, you know, just simple varietals. Everybody don't like just fruit wines. Some people want a combination of the two, so they accommodate. But this winery here, the origins or the family name is Riboli, R-I-B-O-L-I. -I. Remember that name, researcher, Riboli Family Winery, okay? They do make Stella Rosa, but they make a lot of other different wines as well. So for all my dry wine drinkers that are out there, Riboli, R-I-B-O-L-I, -I, Family Winery. Do a Google search. You'll find it, okay, if you're not into the sweet wines. But I say to my dry wine drinkers, sometimes you just want to have fun. Wine can't be serious all the time. Let's have fun, right? Now, so the Stella Rosa Black. I already poured that. You can see that right there. I got my bluey character. My niece gave me this, you know. So this is this is my mascot <laughs> for the end of 2024. I should put that in. I should put him in every video. All right, my mascot bluey. I didn't knew nothing about that. You know, she had to educate me on what today's cartoons were. <laughs> so there you go. So now let's get a nose and a taste of this. Oh wow. It goes blueberry, blackberry, but blackberry dominates. Now, 
here's the most interesting thing about these wines. And if you're trying to understand and learn about wine and what you smell, especially the fruit and grape, uh, 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 I should say, blended wines, you have the opportunity to smell those fruits. So now when you're smelling other wines, you make that connection. You have to build your, your, your uh, mental vocabulary, not vocabulary, mental vocabulary of aromas, of taste, so you can describe the wines that you're smelling and tasting. Okay, remember, mental vocabulary, not vocabulary, mental vocabulary, so you can build your library of tastes and smells. Eat a lot of food and different foods. There you go. Here we go. So you get blueberry, no, blackberry up front, blueberry in the background. It didn't alternate. Blueberry, blackberry, blackberry, blueberry. Raspberry, let's find it. Let's see if we can find it. So if you get a little tang on the nose, that will probably be your raspberry. And I get they're, they're very slight, but the blueberry blackberry dominates in this case. I like those embossed bottles. Isn't that nice? I hope they never change that. Because oftentimes, you know, for cost purposes, they'll change the bottle. And this has been like this for quite some time. I hope they never change that. Now, nose is great. Now for the taste. Acidity. Here we go. Okay. Now, I will actually put about this video which of the reds that I like best. Okay. I'm not really a blueberry kind of a guy or a blackberry kind of a guy. I'm going to tell you straight. I'm not that guy. Okay. But if you are that person that likes blueberries and blackberries, okay, I like, I like blueberries in my oatmeal. But as far as wine, mm, you know, it's it's very rare that I find a blueberry wine that I like. And I think I may have one of those in there. And if I do, I'll attach it to this video. But here we go. But if you're that person and looking for red wine, as in the color, or purple, okay, or maroon, if you're looking for a wine that's darker than white, and you like blueberry and blackberry, this would be the wine for you. It has good balance. It has genuine taste of fruit. Okay? So it doesn't skip on that. It has a slight carbonation to it. When I say slight, very slight. Very slight. Not like... Uh, Moscato or something, anything like that, but very slight. So it's almost, it's more close to a still wine than it is for a wine with bubbles. But it's funny because it comes in with that ripe fruit, but it, it semi, it's semi sweet. It finishes, you know, kind of dry. But you gotta like blueberries and blackberries for this one here. I can see this makes it, making it excellent, excellent, fun. Drinking wine in the summertime, making an excellent summer type wine or summer type cocktail. I need to figure out a cocktail to make with this and get that posted. But I can see definitely that being that type, that type of wine. Mm. But on the merits of its own, forget about my prejudices of blueberry and blackberry. I'm going to give it a thumbs up. It's not as sweet as what you may think it would be, but you have to like those two fruits, blackberry, blueberry. But thumbs up, you know, for this wine here. Because it's not sweet like you would think it would be, but it has definitely has the right fruit characteristics. You don't taste the bracchetto because of those two dark fruits, but I advise you to try to find a bracchetto or a bracchetto de aquí so you get a chance to taste what a bracchetto is like. So it's your Wisconsin wine guys saying as always that you're probably be the guy. And thumbs up 
for the Stella Rosa Black. And I'll see you next time. Ciao. Again, if you like blackberry and blueberry, this is the wine for you for sure. I think it's probably better than most blueberries you ever had. Ciao.